Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on youtube.com slash home edition, which is now called the Proven Helper channel. Alright, this is what I have for you today. I have a video, and the video name is called Add 30 Horsepower to Any Mustang in 5 Minutes, and it's a very popular video on YouTube, and I got a ton of comments from haters that say that um, ECU programmers for cars don't work. So what happened is I had to go get my emissions done. So I had to pull out the super chip from my computer so they could actually do the emissions. So in this video, you see the evidence. You see me going in my items, getting my emissions done. And then I'm gonna do some quarter mile passes and you know I'll show you the figures at the end. This is gonna be a series of videos. I'm gonna put the chip back in, retest the car. I also will show you the stats from the Dynalicious app. And I'm doing this for the purpose of debunking the myth regarding ECU flashes so and super I'm chips. Do a rolling so car and stay tuned, it. check this video out, and become a subscriber so you can see the next video in the series. Alright, hit it now. Oh, you got the red light on? Yeah. I've been had it on. my time slips using the Dynalicious app on my iPhone for my Mustang without the Super Chips ECU guiding my fuel and air mixture. Notice the estimated horsepower rating. Remember that's the estimated horsepower at the rear wheel. Next I'll show you the estimated horsepower at the crank which I got by using this app that you see on my iPhone right here. So it estimated that I have 300 horsepower. Now next Check out this, this run on May 3rd. I got a 13.69 at 109 miles per hour. But notice there's only two bars in the Dynalicious app indicating a measurement quality of only good or fair. Now if I had three bars, then that indicates it's a very excellent reading. And people swear by this app. I don't know. i never been to a real dyno or the track. I just, you know, I just have fun with my car. But anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next series in this video where I put the super chips back in and see if it affects my quarter mile times and my horsepower ratings using the app. Oh yeah, if you found this video even a tiny bit entertaining, go ahead and click the thumbs up and become a subscriber. You never know how much this helps me. And also, you know, it, it kind of motivates me to make more of these videos. So, anyways, take care, have a good one.